Coco, thank you. Everything I have right now is because of you. Don't thank me just yet. The real battle is still ahead of us. Okay, yeah, that's true. But still, I'm glad it worked out. Yeah. I wasn't sure if the enemy would accept my proposal. Oh, good. So you risked my life. But honestly, why would the Mastermind agree to that? I mean, they don't stand to gain anything from a final showdown, do they? They had no choice but to accept. Huh? It's all because of that one moment that the Mastermind let their guard... Like let I their guard let down their guard, <laughs> like I said. Like I okay. said. So when is, what, when is the Mastermind let their guard down? Did I wasn't there to hear it myself, but do you remember what the Mastermind said? I'm sure we'll get a flashback for it. They oh, said they had hijacked the airways to broadcast our school life to the outside world, right? That, yeah, they definitely said that. And what do you think, and what did you think when you heard that? Pretty hard to believe, right? Well, I mean, the idea of actually talking, taking over the airwaves seems unbelievable. You don't exactly read about something like that happening very often, so it's hard to imagine. <laughs> you don't ever read about it happening. In other words, that kind of thing is extremely difficult to pull off. Yeah. And yet, somehow, the mastermind was able to do it. So what are you getting at? But think of it another way. There must have been some reason that had to do with something that difficult. A reason? They had to show the world something, no matter the cost. Us killing each other. Whoa, they wanted to show the world? The Mastermind had been very adamant about not killing us directly, but forcing us to kill each other. Oh. And for their rules and regulations were designed to encourage that. Yeah, that makes sense. If those stupid regulations didn't exist, nobody would have killed anybody. So the Mastermind's ultimate goal was to make us kill each other and show that off to the world. That was literally said. But why? To prove a point, most likely. A point? The outside world has a name for the students of Hope's Peak, right? A certain concept. You're talking about hope, right? That's right. And for those of us who represent hope, to kill each other and sink into despair. The Mastermind wants the world to see that, to try and prove that despair is better than hope. Oh, so this is a fucking console war. That's their goal as the ultimate despair. despair. What? They want to prove that despair is better than hope? But that's ridiculous. You're right, it is ridiculous, completely irrational. It's the kind of thing that nobody but those who call themselves the ultimate despair would devise. Okay. The group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. But is that really their only reason for making the rest of us suffer? I know how angry it was to make you. And yet, the same motivation is what led to the Mastermind revealing their weakness. Hmm. What? Because their goal is to broadcast this killing game to the world. The Mastermind has had to be more particular than is reasonable about their own regulations. Makes sense. If the Mastermind simply ignored their rules, this wouldn't have been a game, but a one-sided slaughter. Yep. At least that's how those are watch those who are watching this would have seen it. And that's why the Mastermind couldn't kill any of us themselves. That is precisely the reason. Okay, so it's some kind of metaphorical bullshit. No matter bullshit. how much they may hate what I'm doing, I haven't violated a single one of their regulations. Not metaphorical, the other word. Ah, whatever, yeah. it doesn't matter. Oh, hey. Ugh. Junko broke the rules, so she was punished. That's oh, that's me. you. Sorry. Junko broke the rules, so she was punished. But in my case, they couldn't lay a finger on me. Wonder why. So instead, they tried to use the class trial following all their proper rules to get me killed. Hmm. They began a trial that didn't have a right answer, then made out me to be the killer. <laughs> made out to me. But even that didn't work. Yes, thanks to you. And due to that failure, the mastermind took yet another risk. They attempted to kill you instead, who also was not the killer. That is true. And when that fact was exposed on live TV to the entire world, the Mastermind had to accept your suggestion. To prove to the world that despair is better than hope, they have to defeat us in perfect form. How do you know? It, it would only do to the Mastermind It would only do the Mastermind <laughs> harm to have it shown that they violated their own regulations. Okay, but all that was a hunch, right? And you were still able to get the Mastermind to accept the challenge? Well, it's only thanks to you that we got that chance, because you believed in me. Another path opened up. Still, I can't believe how much of the Mastermind's thoughts and plans you were able to figure out. I, I didn't have the slightest clue. In the end, though, I couldn't prove any of it. It was just my reasoning. Essentially, it was making I was making a bet. Great. But it looks like I cut it right this time. At least I won the bet. Great, and my life was on the line. So she let out a quick sigh. I took it as a small sign of relief. To be honest, I haven't been that nervous in a long time. You didn't show it. I totally couldn't tell you were nervous at all. You seem totally confident from the moment we decided to go talk to him. Well, presenting a strong demeanor is a fundamental part of negotiation and persuasion, yeah, wouldn't you probably. say? Plus, if I'd shown my uneasiness, that would have just made you that much more uneasy. Yeah, it would have. Yeah, you're probably right. How pathetic. Anyway, we can't relax just yet. All we've done is earn another chance to fight. We have to win this time. Correct. Or everything we've gone through will have been for nothing. You're right. 
If we can't defeat the Mastermind, it'll cost us our lives. There's no option except to win. But before we begin in the final battle, we have to tell the others oh, what good. we're doing. I just want to get to the investigation. True, but now we have to do... I went too fast. All we have to do now is work together with everyone to destroy the Mastermind. Work together with everyone. Is that really possible? Well, I mean, they, there's a serial killer among them, huh? Anyway, anyway, right now, we have to go find the others. They're probably in the dorms somewhere. Shall we go? Oh, um, okay, let's go. Off to the place where people are. I think they're doing their laundry. Or not, I don't know, I don't remember. Or do I? I think they might be in the cafeteria, but I'm not 100% on that. I mean, that's, that's probably where Hina would be. He's like, ah, oh, someone died, I better go fucking stuff my face. What? <laughs> yeah. With chocolate. Mm, I want no, chocolate. No, donuts. She likes donuts, oh, yeah, remember? I like donuts, too. And suddenly we were greeted with... Oh, hey. What's Hi. up? Hi! What? Hi. You again? Uh, is he broken? I suppose his emotional instability reached its limit. Uh... <laughs> 61. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, what the heck? However, I wonder what that was all yeah, about. Yeah, that's a good question. I couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. Yeah? Hey, people. Ooh. Is that... Oh, is that Makoto? She's, they're talking. It is. She's, she, they're talking. Okay. Fuck you. <laughs> you should be happy, asshole. Well, what, do I have to prove that again in the trial? Everyone was there, all my friends who had struggled together and survived. Ex How is the two of them are not your friends? Two really? of them are well, of douche. Not. As soon as I saw their faces, I couldn't help myself. I started to tear up. Okay, great. What? Wait, what's that smell? <laughs> yeah, man, that seriously stinks. Yeah, what is it? It's that... Makoto. He smells like a wet dog. I was in the fucking trash. Cat me some slack. Get away. Shoo, shoo, shoo. <laughs> and in a flash, my tears dried up. Really? Yeah. Okay, uh, do I have to talk to fucking everyone? I don't want to do that. I still can't believe you survived. Yeah, me either. Do you realize what it is you escaped? It was alter ego. He saved my life. Not too many people can say they had their lives saved by a computer. I imagine it was a learning experience for you. And I imagine this bullshit was a learning experience for you. Makoto, what was it like hanging out in the spirit world? I didn't go to the spirit world, dumbass. Did you get to talk to her? Who? Miss Cleo. That is a reference that is well, not in Japan. No, I didn't talk to her. I mean, I didn't go to the spirit world. I mean, who the heck is Miss Cleo? <laughs> I know who Miss Cleo is. Uh, do I have to talk to this bitch? Okay. Ugh, you stink. Are you <laughs> rotten? Rotten physically, mentally, every way you can be rotten. You're the rotten. mentally rotten one. Sorry, I was rolling around in garbage for a while for fun. The smell is so smelly. Oh, oh, oh geez. Super smelly. You smell even worse than me. Oh, way worse than me. What? Oh, she's she's God, getting off of that shit. I win. She seems happy for some reason. Okay, what do you got to say, dude? D that is a door. Uh... Let me talk to you. So what have you guys been doing while I was gone? Well, we figured that since the trial was over, we'd have access to new places again. And? No dice. All the rooms that were locked before were still locked. Great. So there weren't any new areas. Then where can we go find new clues? Uh, okay, I guess I gotta talk to her again. There's no time to indulge in an extended happy reunion. This ain't happy. These guys are assholes. <laughs> we need to explain to everyone what's happened with Monokuma. So do it. Explain. Explain what? But is it okay that you're here? What if the mastermind catches you? That's related to what I have to tell oh, you all. Okay. I need to tell you all about the last class trial. Last class trial? We're going to redo Muk Mukuro's trial. What? Seriously? Yay. What's the point of redoing it? Makoto killed her, right? No, I didn't do it like I keep telling you. Makoto is the killer, and of course it's not me or any of you. Mm -hmm. Then who is it? What she's saying is, it was all the work of the Mastermind. What? You're saying the Mastermind killed Mukuro? That's right. It was all an elaborate trap contrived by the Mastermind. Makoto spotted the trap in time and did what he had to do to stop it. Great. But his decision meant that he would be the one to die. You spotted the trap, did you, Makoto? You make it sound like it was easy. I just, you know, clicked it, the choice. But executing Makoto, who wasn't the Blackened, is a clear violation of the school regulations. The rules state that only the Blackened is to be executed. The Mastermind broke their own rules. Which is why I went and negotiated with them to have the trial one more time. Yay! The Mastermind agreed? Does that mean they really did break the rules? Of course. They're assholes. They had no choice but to agree. You used the TV broadcast to gain the leverage you needed, didn't you? 
Very observant of you. Ugh. I recall what you said at the end of the last trial when you said now it's the mastermind that's ensnared. That's what you were referring to. Hey, I'm totally in the dark here, so don't be mean. For anyone who doesn't understand, you can ask Kyoko later. So knowing all this, what do we do now? 